How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. And this time, we're going to use the Montreal Canadiens and talk about Max Pacioretty being named the team's captain. The 29th captain in Montreal Canadiens history. I mean, what an honor for this guy. Anybody named uh, captain of an original six team, except for Dion Fagouf, you know you're doing something right in the NHL, man. What an honor, absolutely. And you know what? I got to agree with this. When I think, of the, I think about the Montreal Canadiens, you know, Carey Price is certainly someone who comes to mind. He looks like captaincy material, the way he leads the Canadiens on the ice. He is the Canadiens MVP. But I don't know if goaltender or voting for Carey Price, voting for a goaltender was an option for the Montreal Canadiens. Maybe it was, but it didn't work out with Roberto Luongo in Vancouver. So maybe it wasn't an option there in Montreal. So if you take away Carey Price, you know, who else is left? Pacioretty, uh, P.K. Subban, I'm sure, was a candidate alongside of Andre Markov and Thomas Blacanix, right? And the team voted, and apparently it was a unanimous decision. Max Pacioretty, I guess over the last four years, has been the most reliable goal scorer for the Montreal Canadiens. He's got three 30-goal seasons over those four years, and in the shortened season, where he only played 44 games, he got 15 goals. So that could have been a 30-goal year as well, right? So he's been consistent. Um, he's on a great contract. He's been able to score goals. He's been professional. So it makes sense. The team voted for him, and it was unanimous, right? So everyone agrees that it should be Max Pacioretty. And this is interesting for Montreal. The captaincy is very different from the last two. Since the year 2000, Montreal's only had two captains, Saka Koivu and Brian Gianta. And both these guys were smaller frames compared to Pacioretty, baby. So here he is. Pacioretty, he's got to put it home. Mr. Professional, take that A off his jersey, slap the C. The Charlie Conway C. What is this guy doing? Corey Crawford. Stop trying to wide dive. Take this guy's thunder form. He had to get a goal here. So congratulations, Max Pacioretty. You know, and, uh, rivalries are rivalries still. What an absolute honor to be named captain of the Montreal Canadiens. Fantastic. You definitely deserve it. All right, but I want to get into this. Um, the time to win for the Montreal Canadiens. We'll get into that afterwards. Hang on. Got to focus. Back to the right. There you go. Yeah, you really have to anticipate where this guy is going. The Jackass Deeks. If you don't pull off a, a flying poke check, the Jackass Deeks own. Let's see. I'll do a Jackass shot. All right, here we go. Alex Galchenyuk. They need this guy to be a first-line center. Watch this. No poke check? Yep. <laughs> the wide dive. He did the wide dive anyways, but whatever. I'm going to do some jackass shots. Jesus Christ. Alex Galchenyuk, those nifty mitts. He does have some nifty mitts. I'm looking uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some breakaway moves from Galchenyuk. He likes to go boop, 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 and then back to the back end. Kind of remind me, some of the highlights last year of his shootouts kind of reminded me of this guy, Patrick Kane. He's got those nice mitts in, in tight. Oh, what do you got for me? Flying poke check! Get the hell out of here! I'll show you how it's done here in Montreal. Le Canadien. They're getting it done. Carey Price. I want to know. I didn't do enough research into this. Who's Carey Price a possibility for captain, or they did just not allow that? David DeHarnay, second line center. That's got to... Galchenyuk's got to get there. Oh, baby. Oh, ah, no! Oh, my God! Did he score? No fucking way. Is it in the net? Holy shit. DeHarnay, he doesn't, oh, maybe he is captaincy material. First line center, he does everything he needs to do to get that puck in the net. What the hell was that? Corey Crawford almost debontade him over the cross. It's a goal! <laughs> you know, I was talking to Pray for Eyes. He's, he's been doing a lot of Hockey Ultimate Team. He says that in Hockey Ultimate Team, hang on, hang on. Dirty fuck! Uh, he said that in Hockey Ultimate Team, there's like this, there's this new, um, this new wave of goals that are going in where the goaltender has it and the players bump into him and because there's no it's not goalie interference but the goalie still has the puck like in his glove or something and the players just push him in and it counts <laughs> all right that's gonna i gotta try that again get the go get the puck underneath the goaltender here brendan gallagher and then just run right into him all right run right into him here we go let's try a let's try a 10 hole speed here we go <laughs> let's try that again that was great here we go, here we go. Oh, oh my god, he got the save. Man, I, I, I went face first in that pose, but Galley didn't go down. Look at that, he takes that. The helmet saved his life right there. Gallagher. Imagine Gallagher was named captain. If the guy was like five years older, he'd be up there, man, the way he plays. What do you got for me? Oh, Jesus, he's got that for me. Toivo Teravainen. You just, you cannot move over quick in this game. You gotta, I, I, I gotta pay attention to the shootout when I'm in net. Let me tell you. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. It's such an easy deke, too. That's a Nikolai Kuhlman deke right there. All right, Lars Eller, we got to take this. We got to take this. What do we want to do? Let's do a... You know what? Let's do... I don't can't do the Gordie Howe completely anymore, but I can kind of do it. 
Here we go. Oh, baby. What? Not enough time. Did I take too much time? Or did I lose the puck? I think I just took too much time. Oh, we're letting this guy get right back in this, are we? All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, he did it again. It's such a basic deke. I'm expecting him to do something more advanced. So I'm going back. <laughs> yeah, Carey Price, that's why you weren't named captain, you goof. You're diving around. I know you got a hot girlfriend, but keep your eye on the puck. What the hell are you thinking about? Jesus. Anisimov. Oh. All right, here we go. Semen, Semen. Let's see what he's got. Here we go, Semen. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, fake. Oh, top cheese. There you go. Yes, they butterfly right in the middle of the net. I'm fine with that. Number 13, Alex Semen. Man, if he can have a good year, you know, you, you don't think much of him, and all of a sudden he'll come back and have that year that he had with uh, uh, Washington in 2009 or 2010, one of those years. <laughs> Comes in and has like a 30-goal season or something. What the hell was Carolina thinking when they signed him to 7 mil per year? Jesus, they're fishing over there. Here we go. Trevor Daly, what do you got for me? What do you got? Flying poke check! Yeah, I tried that third move. The exact same time. Oh, on the Montreal Canadien. Hey, LeBou! They take the W. All right, so let's talk about this a little bit more with Max Patch already. Uh, I already talked about the team voting, and I also talked about Saku Koivu and Brian Gianta being the smaller forwards, right? And that was always a criticism I had of the Montreal Canadiens, a smaller team. Patch already, he's not small, man. He is your prototypical winger. Big size, he can score goals, good speed, and apparently he's a professional, so you can't ask for much more out of uh, Max Patch already, right? But I gotta say this for you Montreal Canadian fans. There's always a silver lining. When you get something good, there's always something bad in it as well, and I want to focus on this, all right? The time for the Montreal Canadiens to win is right now. It's in the next three years, anyways. First of all, Montreal and Tampa Bay own the Atlantic Division right now. Montreal's got to take advantage of this. they got to have a trip to the Stanley Cup Finals. Also, Max Pacioretty, he's on a very team-friendly contract. A cap hit of $4 million this season, and then $5 million per year for the following three years. He's got four years left, four, $4 million cap hit this year, five, five, five the years after this, right? And in today's NHL, when a guy like Jonathan Taze and Kane are making $10 mil, he's making half. That's very, very valuable. But here's the problem. Carey Price only has three years left at $7 million, And you know he's going to get a massive payday if he continues to dominate in the NHL. Just look at a guy like Henrik Lundqvist, his contract, right? So three more years for Carey Price at $7 million. You can handle that right now. Now, P.K. Subban, he already got his big contract. He's making $9 million per year. So when Max Pacioretty's contract comes up as the captain of the Montreal Canadiens, how much is he going to ask for, you know? Oh, i got to look at that again. That's, that's the big question right now, because Subban's already making the $9 million. Carey Price can probably make $10 million plus, and then Pacioretty, if he's the captain, is he going to ask for $9 million just like P.K. Subban, right? So then you got Carey Price at $10 mil, Subban at $9 mil, Pacioretty at $9 mil, almost $30 million signed in three players. That's why I say you guys got to win right now. This Pacioretty and Carey Price contract are the time where you guys have to get it done, because... You know, these guys get their, their bigger contracts afterwards, and you got $30 million tied up in three players in their late 20s or early 30s, right? You guys got to win right now when you have the younger players like Gallagher and Galchenyuk still in their rookie deals. This is the time to bring in veterans at the trade deadline, rental players, to get it done right now. The Montreal Canadiens, they just need that first line center, and they have an elite squad. So, what do you guys think about that? The next three years, the team to reign in the Atlantic, Tampa Bay, and Montreal. Hey, maybe maybe Stamco signs with Montreal. Oh my God, could you imagine that? They'd be filthy. So boys, let me know what you think about uh, the Montreal Canadiens and Max Pacioretty being named team captain. I would just like to say congratulations, Patches. You deserve it. And I look forward to seeing you smoke the Toronto Maple Leafs next year. <laughs>